What's going on, guys? The Bowtie Fragrance Guy here, and I am back with another fragrance video. Now, today, I'm excited because I'm going to be jumping into a new collection of fragrances that I have. Now, in my collection, uh, from the brand of Nishane. I don't know if you guys have heard or not, but Nishane has released a new collection of fragrances called the X Collection. Now, this collection features some of my favorites from the brand of Nishane, so I'm really excited to dive uh, into these fragrances and just kind of talk to you guys about my thoughts on, on the collection, my impressions of them. I've smelled a few of these, but I actually haven't smelled them all. So some of these are going to be a real true uh, first impression, my first time uh, smelling some of these fragrances. But anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and get into it. I'm going to run the intro, and when we come back, we'll be looking at all five of the fragrances from the new Nishane X collection. So this should be pretty fun and, and exciting. So if you want to hear my thoughts, you guys know the routine. Keep it locked right here. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's go. <laughs> we'll be right back. Yeah, yeah. The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back, and let's uh, jump right into it. Um, we're going to be looking at, again, all five fragrances from the new Nishane S collection. Now, I'm excited because, number one, I love fragrances, so I'm glad that I, <laughs> that I have five fragrances to smell. And uh, also the fact that they did retakes on some of my favorites from the brand. So out of the five fragrances that... Uh, was released in the Nishane X collection. I actually have four of the originals already. The only one that I did not have was uh, 100 Silent Ways. It's a fragrance, I think, that was kind of more so marketed towards women. Uh, so I had never acquired the fragrance. I did hear good things about it, but I did not have that one. But I have the other four originals to compare these two, so that is going to make this even more um, exciting. Now, before I get, begin, also, I do want to say one quick thing. I did receive these fragrances from So Avant Garde, uh, which is an online uh, fragrance uh, boutique uh, that you guys can check it out. I think my code is uh, Darian20, if I'm not mistaken. If not, if that's not the code, I'll make sure I correct it here. Uh, let's see if I can do this. It'll be right here. <laughs> uh, so you can actually uh, check out any of these fragrances or anything from So Avant Garde. Um, I do think they also have uh, different pay options, like if you wanted to use Shop Pay, which is something I like to mention to people often, because, you know, like I said, if you just don't want to spend all that money in one time, if you want to do it in a more uh, reasonable or affordable way by making payments uh, for equal payments on it, I think that's something that, you know, is worth mentioning. So anyway, head over to Soul Avant Garde, guys, and check out anything on the site other than Mind Games. Any of these fragrances, you can get use my code and get 20% off. So let's get into it. The first one, let's start with, I would say, what is probably the most popular fragrance from the brand, which is Hashivat. Um, this is the original fragrance, of course, if you guys have never seen it. This is the original. This fragrance features pineapple, grapefruit, bergamot, cedarwood, patchouli, jasmine, and oak moss. And... Again, I think this is probably one of the most popular fragrances, if not the most popular from the brand of Nishane. So they redid this one in the X collection. Uh, this fragrance was known for uh, its performance. One thing I would say, uh, some people kind of compared this to Creed Aventus, which again, in my opinion, has just a slight similarity because of the pineapple. This fragrance to me really is about the pineapple, but the patchouli. This is a really heavy, uh, uh, earthy fragrance, the patchouli and the oak moss when it dries down really changes the uh, composition comparatively speaking to Creed Aventus. This is a lot more earthier, more manly, musky, again, uh, oak moss kind of scent. So let's see what the new X does in comparison to the original. So here's the new Nishane X fragrance. Here's the bottle right here. Of course, the only difference is it has the X here in the front. Uh, other than that, the bottle actually looks pretty much the same. Now, you're going to get some things a little bit different here as far as presentation, of course, with the X. 
Well, how does it compare in, reg in regards to the smell? Let's find out. So I have a test strip. Of course, I know how the original smells. So let's go ahead and smell Hashiva X. Okay, off the top, this is a lot fresher. Like when I sprayed the original, uh, the original Nishane uh, Hasiba, I get the pineapple, but I immediately got some of that that earthiness that started to creep in there really early on. So I started to smell patchouli almost upon initial spray. This is a lot more of a sweet kind of fresher, maybe even citrusy opening. So I know there's pineapple in here, but I think there's some additional uh, notes in here as well that helps contribute to this fragrance uh, smelling different. Um, honestly, this doesn't really smell that much like the original Hasivat to me. It smells good, but it really doesn't smell like Hasivat. Now, I know for a fact because I've already, like I said, I sprayed one of the others that was a lot closer as it relates to the original and... Um, the, the, the one from the X collection, but this is different. Yeah. Wow. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. I'm trying to see what I'm getting here. See, I know there's some, like I said, I think there's lime in this fragrance. That wasn't in the original. There's orange blossom in this one. I think that's where that kind of sweetness is coming from. Like I said, orange bro blossom to me comes off kind of sweet sometimes, almost slightly creamy in some instances. So I think those are the two major differences in the opening, whereas the other one, I'm getting that earthiness and that pineapple. And I'll get the pineapple here, but then it's accompanied by lime and orange blossom. Again, giving it a more sweet, a little bit more citrusy profile uh, up top. So again, it's not definitely not a bad smell at all, but it is definitely a lot different from the original um, Hasibat. Now, there are a lot of notes in here that are similar between, between both compositions. So the patchouli is still here, the cedarwood is still here, the pineapple, which are some of the main notes, but this is a more fresher, to sum it up, more fresher, sweeter, a little bit more citrusy interpretation of the original. A little bit of the um, original DNA you can pick up here, but at least off this initial spray and first smell and then I'm doing it on a test strip, that's kind of sort of what I'm getting. It does smell good though, let's not get it twisted. I think all of these are uh, extract the parfum concentrations, okay. So it's probably gonna last in the whole nine. I'm starting to pick up a little bit more smokiness now, some patchouli. Uh, I think vetiver is in here as well, so maybe that's coming, attributing to the smokiness, but it definitely smells good. A lot fresher than the original, so um, just depends on what you're looking for there. Um, so let's see what else do we have here. My actual favorite fragrance from this brand is Fan Your Flames, so I think I want to do that one next. So here's the original bottle, Fan Your Flames. All right, and uh, of course what we have in here is coconut rum, tobacco, tonka beans, cedar wood. There is some oak moss. This is so freaking good. Um, this is what the new Fan Your Flames X looks like. I really do like these bottles, I must say. Very classy, uh, sophisticated presentation. So I want to spray this. Obviously, let's see what it smells like. So this is the one that I, I smelled it briefly before. Um, see, I, when I smell this, I originally get the original DNA. I smell, this smells like Fan Your Flames. Yeah, smells like Fan Your Flames. So this one, there's not as much of a difference if I compare this to Hasibot. This smells a lot closer to the original. Again, check the bottle out here, guys. It's just beautiful stuff here. Beautiful stuff. This smells really, really good. Check the bottle out. You can see a horse there in the back. Yeah. Now, I think some of the main notes that are different in here, if I can remember correctly, this has thyme in it and a note of carrot. Carrot is kind of powdery, so it's a little bit more of a powdery nuance here. The thyme is a little bit, give a little bit of an herbal sense to it. 
But outside of that, they're really, really close uh, in the scent profile. So you're going to get the true essence of uh, the original Fan Your Flames with those few additional nuances there. So if you're a big fan of the original, you're probably going to be a fan of this. I really can't say that about the original, the uh, Hasibai, because it does smell different. There's only some slight uh, characteristics there that remind me of the original, but this one is a little bit more closer to the original. Fan Your Flames, again, with a few other nuances there, like I mentioned. Um, I think when it dries down, there's a little bit of patchouli in here as well. But overall, really, really like this one. Because this is my favorite, I'm happy they didn't venture too far off from the original because this is my favorite. That may be a good thing with the Hasibot for some people that maybe find, found that one to be a little bit too earthy, uh, a little bit too, you know, mature smelling. Because that oat moss and patchouli is really strong in that fragrance. It can it actually can turn some people off, although it doesn't turn most, most people off I'm coming into contact with. I've had, I have had one or two people say that it was really maybe too strong um, with the original. So, but anyway, so those are the first two. So let's see where we want to go next here. Let's go with probably the next most popular fragrance from the brand, which is this one, Ani which of course is a patchouli, uh, well, I'm sorry, more of a vanilla uh, centric fragrance. Uh, this is, has um, ginger, pink pepper, uh, cardamom, black currant, rose, vanilla, benzoin, sandalwood. So it is, it kind of has an ambery feel to it, that vanilla and stuff like that when it starts to dry down. And here is what the new Ani looks like. Check that one out. Check out that nice bottle. Again, nice presentation on these. Now, this one is a lot different from the original. This one has some lemon, melon, green apple, sage, lavender, uh, patchouli in there, some cashmere wood. So I'm interested to smell, see what this one smells like compared to the original, which is really heavy on the vanilla. Kind of those ambery tones and nuances in that one. Um, so let's see what this one smells like. I'm thinking it's going to be totally different. And I'm right. This is way different from the original. This has like a, a freshness, like a, almost a tropical vibe with that melon um, and stuff like that up top. Yeah, this is really different, man. Lemon, melon, uh, some other citrus accords there. Uh, this is a lot different from the original. Wow. I don't know. I'm wondering why they did that on some of these. Some of these, they really stuck closer to the original. Some of these, they ventured way off. Definitely can't say if you're a fan of the original Ani, this is one you're going to like. Understand something. That's not saying that this smells bad. It smells really good, but it doesn't really smell much like Ani to me. So some of the hardcore Ani lovers may not be fans of this, not because it doesn't smell good, but because it doesn't really remind you, at least doesn't remind me really anything of the original Ani. Hmm. Yeah, this is a lot more fresh, a lot more citrusy, a lot more fruity um, fragrance. I really don't pick up much of the original Ani at all with this. Though it does smell really good, I'm not, I'm, I'm, again, I want to clarify that. Again, I just don't think that if you're going, going to get this one looking for uh, any remembrance of the original, it's not going to really be in this particular fragrance, although it smells good. So that's Ani. And these are just my first impressions here. Um, let's see what we have next. So this is the original Wulong Chai. This is at its core a tea based fragrance. All right, so here's the original Wulong Chai, uh, bergamot, orange, you have the tea note, uh, nutmeg, fig, musk. So it's kind of creamy, a little bit musky. Again, the tea is the main note here. This is the X interpretation. So most of these bottles kind of look very similar with the exception of Hasibot. So some of the notes that are different in this one is bergamot, yuzu, uh, magnolia, and thyme. So let's see what this translates to in the reference to how this smells. All right.
Yep, a lot closer to the original. This is a little bit more green, though. Mmm, I like this. This is really nice. Yeah, a little bit more fresher, a little bit more citrusy, a little bit more green. Uh, but you still definitely get the core of the original. So, so far, between the four that I've kind of uh, given my first impressions on, this one and Fan Your Flames are more closer to the original DNA is just kind of a little bit enhanced, which is kind of what I, kind of what I expected from this uh, collection. I didn't really expect them to venture, uh, you know, go down a totally different path, although two of them kind of have. But, oh, I like this. My, 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 this is good. I like the additional notes in this one. I really, really do. The, the additions aren't as noticeable in Fan Your Flames. They're noticeable here, but you still pick up the original Wulong Chai, which is primarily about that tea. Boom, man, I think that addition of that yuzu here is what's really catching my attention because that's like a, like a really f more of a sweet, like lemony kind of nuance. This is good. That just, that tea with that yuzu note, man, it's almost like a lemon. Uh, you had that um, Lipton's tea, the lemon. Uh, uh, variety. That's what I'm getting here. This is so good. This may be my favorite. Uh, it's up there. This is really good. So the Wulong Chai X is really good, man. Um, the last one here is the only one that I don't have the original of. But I can tell you that this fragrance is absolutely Phenomenal, and this is 100 Silent Ways. This is the bottle. It's probably my favorite bottle because of the red and green X there. Um, this one has, they added some, this was a really floral fragrance. They have stuff like peach and mandarin and tuberose and jasmine in the original, but they added some additional notes here like leather and patchouli. To me, that really mask it, make the DNA more masculine. So now where I felt like it really leaned, uh, the first one, the original, a lot more feminine, Guys can definitely pull this off, and I'm going to tell you, this is phenomenal. This, to me, I know I just said what long child was, but this is probably my favorite. This is good. This is a home run. Again, I didn't smell the original, but I smelled this one, and this one is phenomenal. Again, leather and patchouli really made this more of a unisex fragrance that may, in my opinion, even slightly lean masculine because the leather and patchouli is really hot and heavy in this fragrance, but it is so well done. All of the fragrances are well done from this collection. Honestly, wouldn't really expect anything less from Nishane. Uh, again, I think it's just my opinion that the uh, Hasivat being so popular, um, and kind of in the Ani venturing so far away from the original DNAs may not come across well to some people, although the fragrances do smell good. Um, I think that's my only uh, issue, if you will, with uh, this collection, but they all smell good, all well done. Uh, these are just my first impressions. I really want to break some of these down and compare them one-on-one -on -one and do some full videos. So let me, get, let me know if you guys want to see that down in the comment section. But that's all I have for you guys today. Just want to kind of do an initial impressions on these. Um, what's your favorite if you smell them so far? I'd also love to hear from you on that as well. As always, I sincerely appreciate you guys' time and attention to these videos. I know you don't have to watch, but you do, and I sincerely appreciate that. Now, don't forget to make sure you take a few moments out to like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure you are sharing these out to some other folks out there that you think could use the information or find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darian. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, keep looking good, keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.